Hey guys, welcome to my short comparison of the Samyang 8mm f3.5 version 1 and the Sony SEL 16 f28 with attached Sony fisheye converter. In my last review I tested Sony's fisheye converter, but at the end optical performance and the price didn't convince me. That is why I bought a used Samyang 8mm 3.5 fisheye lens in top condition and the best thing, I only paid 100 euros for it plus 12 bucks for an EOS 2NEX adapter. I was hoping to get at least a comparable performance so I can sell my SEL 16 f28 in all converters. Maybe it could be even better than the Sony lens. Let's see. Obviously, there's a good reason why Samyang also offers a smaller 8mm f2.8 for mirrorless cameras. This 8mm f3.5 DSLR lens is huge and heavy compared to the fisheye converter. The lens hood isn't detachable, but there's a newer version that includes this feature. But Sony's converter also has a fixed lens hood, so in that point there's no difference. The Sony converter has a reduction factor of 0.62, which gives you a field of view of 10mm on an APS-C camera. Like most Samyang lenses, this one is a manual lens with a clicking aperture. What I really liked about Sony's fisheye converter was the fact that it reduces your minimal focus distance so you can get really close to small objects. The Samyang 8mm really disappoints me in that matter. 0.3 meters is actually a common minimal focus distance, but with a focal length of only 8mm, 0.3 meters is a very long distance. So let's compare both lenses in terms of picture quality. On the left the Samyang, on the right the Sony, both always at f5.6. So let's take a look at the bike. Mm, this looks like the uh, Sony converter is a bit sharper. Let's go up here in the trees and Sony still looks sharper. Um, yeah, this is the extreme corners. We have, we have chromatic aberrations on the Samyang, but the Sony is also very soft. Let's look on the left side, the middle, hardly, I can tell this, they're pretty much the same. Looking to the left side, yeah, again looks very similar to me. Uh, yeah, here we have on the Samyang chromatic aberrations and some softness in the Sony on the extreme corners. On the left, uh, I can tell any difference. They really look the same. So let's go ahead to the next picture. All right, let's crop into 100%. Looking in the middle, I don't know. They look the same to me. Maybe a bit more detail on the Samyang here on the left trees. Uh, definitely a bit more detail, but not too much. Um, yeah, okay. Detail is still a bit more on the Samyang, but not a huge difference. And yeah, chromatic aberrations on the Samyang and corner softness in the extreme corners on the Sony. So down here look pretty much the same on the left and right corner. Yeah, on this one the Sony looks a bit sharper. And up in the trees the Sony looks a bit sharper and has less chromatic aberrations. But all in all, I think, oh yeah, definitely some hard chromatic aberrations on the Samyang. But if you look at the whole picture, it's really hard to, to tell which one is sharper. If you look here, this looks a bit sharper, so really hard to tell. Almost the same. Now, what do I think about the Samyang 8mm f3.5? Well, if you can get a used one for 100 bucks like me and you want to take your first fisheye photos in your life, go get it. 
If you already own the Sony fisheye converter like I do, the 8mm f3.5 is no real upgrade. I mainly use my camera for video work. The 8mm is way too heavy to attach it to any action cam gear. But that was the initial reason I bought my Sony fisheye converter. Recently I watched a positive review on a cheap GoPro killer under 100 bucks. I think I will sell my fisheye lenses and get the cheap action cam instead. It's more versatile for video work and you can easily use it underwater. But nonetheless, I will leave you with some test shots of the Semyang 8mm f3.5 I took while exploring the French Vogue. At the end of each clip I added some LUTs so you can see what's possible with that lens in post-production. Take care everybody! Fingers down my side. Girl, you look mighty fine. Won't you rub your fingers?